How's it going, everyone? I haven't streamed in a while, so it's nice to come back to it. Um, a lot has changed since the last time I've streamed. Um, I've been known to be an Abzan player, and the things have changed. Um, now I'm streaming uh, Rock now because I'm kind of on Rock. Um, and the reason why that is, uh, to be frank, I've been, like, losing a lot on Absent. Like, I was not able to break even in the league to save my life. Um, and I don't know if that's just due to the meta or just, like, my deck just knowing. And I just, honestly, I just don't think three colors is needed anymore, um, in this archetype. Um... So, for the people that are just tuning in or on YouTube, uh, I guess I'll just do like a mini duck tech uh, for the people that are coming in from the Abzan side of you um, and why I'm switching over. Um, to be honest, I don't think Lingering Souls is necessary anymore. Um, Lingering Souls is just not good, which is kind of sad because like Lingering Souls was one of the main reasons to play white and before Teferi got printed and before Jace got him banned, like, you could just slam a Lingering Souls uh, on turn 3 and just play half of that card, and they, it is so difficult for them to deal with it, and then you don't even have to flash back the second half. Um, like, you can just keep beating with two spirits until they just die, and if they deal with it, then you just flash it back, and you just don't expend that many resources. Uh, but now with Jace and Teferi, uh, their loyalty is three or higher, depending on what their first mode is. So the fact, and we don't have any burn in Abzan, so the fact that you have to, pretty much, you have pretty much have to cast the Ring of Souls and flash it back just to threaten Planeswalkers. And A, that is just not very mana efficient, and B, it just kind of takes away the card advantage of that card because they play so many rats. Um... So, a so Linger Souls just pretty, pretty much becomes negligible, and the fact that the pro of Linger Souls is sure it breaks the mirror, but there just isn't that much uh, going on in terms of like rock. Like there's not a lot of rock in the meta, um, and Linger Souls doesn't really help the Jun match up that much. Like Barbados is so powerful that like yeah sure you'll make two one ones. Uh, Jun will just play a Blood Radolf and a Tarmogoyf or something like that, right? So it's like, like their their top end is just way better than our top end in terms of our our grindy card. Uh, <clears throat> the other reason why you would play Abzan is Stony Silence, and to be honest, if you look at it that way, it's not worth Lingering Souls, which is so it's not worth to play white because Lingering Souls doesn't isn't worth it because it just isn't. It doesn't break the beat mirror and doesn't beat control matches anymore. And B, playing a th third color just for a cyborg card is not worth you losing your, like, the consistency of your mana base. And when I switched to rock, I was amazingly surprised how painless his mana base is. Like, I'll start off, my life total will be, like, 19, 18. But on Abzan, I am at, like, 15 consistently. Uh... Because you have to, you know, shock for a Godless Shrine or a Temple Garden just to play your Lingering Souls or your Path to Exile, right? So it's just, it's, it's, it's a nice change to have a, a more, uh, a painless mana base. It's, it, it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but the reason why I never, was never an advocate for Dark Confident and Abzan was because you start off at 15. 14 15 life, but now that you're starting off at 19 18 life dark confidant becomes a real card and uh, I would like to compare my list to like soul Malka's list and Jeff Hoogland's list uh, When I first started playing rock I kind of based it off of Jeff Hoogland's list and I did not like this at all uh, He had no He is a pretty strong hater on dark confidant and I don't know why um I cut both the Tassigers and uh, of the fourth tracker for three Dark Confidants and it was the best change I made to this deck because it just gives you more early game action and it just another card that's just a must answer threat. 
Like, instead of, like, like my opponent can pretty much ignore a Tumblr for scavenging use because they're just dead beaters. But, like, a Dark Confidant will run away the game. So the fact that, like, you have three Dark Confidants and three Trackers is just insane. Um, so, my his pretty much my history of Rock was I played 24 lands with four Trackers. Deck felt really clunky, and I had two Tasker's. Deck felt really clunky, and I pretty much took the advice of running 25 lands. And the deck felt a little bit better, but I did not like how land flood is, right? Like, if you have 25 lands and four trackers, sure, you're running four of it, but if you don't get value out of your Tyler's tracker, your deck is so much air with 25 lands. And the difference between 25 and 24 lands is a lot in a deck, because that's just one extra top deck, right? So I cut a land, cut a fourth tracker, uh, cut the Tasker and added a Bob, and I cut the second Tasker for Cletus for a top end threat. And this deck has f just felt a lot smoother. Um, in terms of the removal, compared to Soul's list, his list has two Fatal Push, and I think that's completely wrong. I like four push, it's just, the deck needs all the early interaction can get because at the end of the day, our deck is pretty clunky. We have three trackers, three Lilanas, one Last of Hope, one Pulse, a Cleat, like, our deck isn't that fast out of the gate, so having more early interaction is worth it. And the fact that it's one of the best removal spells ever printed, like, Fatal Push is really good, and the fact that you're only running two is a little off. Um... In terms of the sideboard, I pretty much copied Hooglin's sideboard. I actually liked his sideboard a lot. I think he had 2 to 3 damage Spear, the 2 to rest. That was kind of like the signature hallmark of what his sideboard looked like, and I really like it. Uh, the 2 to rest has been really good for all of our, like, it, like our... So all the matches, like, Assassin Trophy, like, made worse, like, KCI and Storm, like, duress just comes in, like, it helps a lot. Uh, and versus Control, too. Like, duress has been really good for me that extra discard spell that early interaction because like the best thing you can do against like control or or just you know is just turn one discard spell and turn two bob and that's a game winning line there um i like the, the damnation language one one split um and the two nissa has been awesome i, I love nissa as a card uh and when i 5 owed uh, i think a week or two ago with this list, the only change I had was I had three small bomb. I didn't have the the graph triggers cage, but um, three graph trigger uh, three small bombs felt a little overloaded. Uh, I wanted something also versus like the company decks and bench bridge just won the GP, so you want all the uh, you want to shut off uh, collected company because uh, my thought pro uh, my theory against collected company decks is if so collected company decks, it kind of varies depending on how many collected companies they cast. Um, because I feel like if they cast zero companies, we are favored to win that matchup. It's like Band Spirits, Elves, uh, Value Town. If they cast zero companies, we are favored. If they cast one company, we are pretty much slightly favored to unfavored because of the value they gain off it. Of course, it depends on what hits they have, but I'm assuming they have an average hit. An, uh, an average to above average hit, like they ran the value that they gain off that is just unbeatable. And then two Coco is just a death sentence. Like, I don't think I think I've won one game where they cast a Coco or two Cocos and it was just insanely close. Um, so having a card that just shuts off pretty much a card that swings that matchup the other way is really good, and also it's good against all these Arc like Phoenix decks that have been popping up and Storm and Dredge and uh. Like, this is especially good against those Arclight Command decks because it shuts off Peaceful Saluting too. Um, and, like, Spellbomb is really good against the matchup because the spell on does turn off Bedlam Reveler. But I would like a Cage because it's a little bit more versatile. And I already have two spell bombs and two Surge Bowls, so it seems fine. Um, other than that, the main change I made, I think, that's distinct is the Cletus main. I think it's really good. Um... The lifelink is really good, there's a lot of dredge online, and the value you get from this card is really good too. And it's nice to have just another top end threat. Um, I could see this being, I guess, another tracker, or maybe like an eternal witness that Soul had. Like, Soul had some good value there. Um, but, Khalees has been overperforming for me, because I like how, it, I just like having a life gain card. Maybe I'm just so used to having a siege rhino in my deck. But, um... 
I don't know. I just it's nice having maybe I'm just so used to having Siege Rhino. So it's like my wannabe Siege Rhino in the deck. So don't hate me for running cleaves. Uh, but I did five zero with this exact list yesterday, which is really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, hopefully it gets posted tomorrow. Um, but yeah, enough talking. Let's enough of the deck tech. Ten minute deck tech. Let's just move along. Hopefully my luck. Yesterday carries over with today. Another one of the reasons why I love this deck is because it's so like resistant to Blood Moon. Like I played I, one of the matches I beat, I think a league or two ago. I played against some sort of like free red deck, and I just had basics in my hand. Um, and it was awesome. Uh, is this burn? Or just dredge? Dredge it is. Oh, this hand would have been so much better on the play. Like, this hand just... Like, if this is a scavenging, maybe I have a shot, but this does not look like a game-winning hand against dredge. Like, if this was on the play, I think I would even, I would be able to nab this tree corn. I'd be able to pretty much lock this game up. Oh man. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those games where I'm gonna lose game one and then try to win game two. Double conflagrates gross. Uh hopefully he doesn't hit a dredger. Let's see, so yes I don't know how good the quality is on stream, but he has uh foothills, uh the narcomy I took and two conflagrates. And he hit a Narcomio. So he didn't get a Dredger yet. So that's good for us. He's going to Faithless Loot here. So hopefully he... So he's going to hit a good up like Ash. Ash. He's going to get a lot of the value here. Let's go. So the good... The, thing, the only thing that's good for us is he doesn't have a Dredger in the yard yet. Um... Oh, scavenging ooze is a little slow because he has a comfort in hand too, or in the yard. I mean, pretty much his hand. Um, God, this I would have been a lot better off on the play. If he wasn't the play in this in this game, like it would be really good. So he has chill, mire, and one unknown card. So he's probably gonna play land, faithless loot. Um, I think I just have to play Tarmogoyf here. Because I don't want to walk my Scavengers right into, uh, the two Conflagrates. So he's just going to mill. Hopefully I can dodge two Dredgers. Foothills and a Blood Gas. So he doesn't have any Dredgers. He has a Creeping Chill and a Blood Moon Stain Mire in hand. Uh, he's probably just gonna play the land, like I said. Oh, another street corn. No faithless loot. So what would be really good for me right now is to have a, just running green sources off the top. <clears throat> My opponent's dredges have been awful. Just awful. So here, I'm going to block the prize amalgam, and I'm going to hope, or the bloodcast, and I'm going to hope he burns this Confrogate. So that means I, if I top deck a, a green source here, I can uh, exile the other Confrogate. So I need a, a green source off the top. Uh, so he's probably going to fetch a red source and Confrogate my Tarmogoyf. I need a green source off the top, otherwise it's, uh, I don't know how I'm winning 
this game. Come on, green source. Oh, buddy. I guess this isn't that bad. Uh, I could play the scavenging ooze. Uh, and he has no cards in hand to conflagrate. So we'll see what he dredges here. Oh, another conflagrate. <laughs> so he has no dredger, so these faithless wounds are pretty trash here. So I need a green source off the top. That would be my best draw here. I, mean, I just need green mana. Like, <laughs> like me drawing basics in this matchup is actually not helping. I need these to be duels and I can just start actually winning the game here. So chill. So he has no known cards. So then I'm gonna push the Narc Amoeba here. Seven, yeah. So no loans in the yard is good for us. I just need green sources. Like green sources is gonna help a lot here. Yeah, my opponent's dredges has been pretty bad. Come on, green source, please. That's a kick in the teeth. So, I just need to dodge uh, my opponent milling I just need to dodge two dredgers on the top of my opponent's deck here blood gas that's good it sucks because I'm gonna have to take another hit here um I think here, since just in case my opponent did draw a land, I think I'm going to exile the. Uh, oh, my opponent flashes back. No, it's not going to do anything. I'm going to exile the Blood Ghast here. I just need green sources. I just need green sources. That's all I need. So I, I, I did that there just so my opponent can't conflagrate me. Oh, is he just gonna hard cast a stink meter? That's fine. So here. I'm at a virtual four with if I leave the conflagrates in the yard. If I don't leave the conflagrates in the yard, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I can. Let me see. I could exile both conflagrates. I think I should have exiled both conflagrates. Then I could one, two, three, four, five. I can't. Then I have to block the amalgam, which is gross. If I don't block the, amal the amalgam, I go. I'm 
The other line is I can Liliana minus, but then he's just going to stink with it a bit. Four, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to pretty much lose my scavenging moves. Gosh darn it. The thing is, I can go to five. So eight. Eight. Block. Six. Comprobate. I think I just. I just need my opponent to miss play because I need my scoops to live. Dang. That's that was a really good draw. She so goes to four three and confrogates me. Yeah, I think that's just game. <coughs> that was a good draw. I don't know how you're just gonna can't forget me for lethal. See if he sees the line. Gosh, I just need more green sources. Then I had might have a shot. These two basic swamps would just really screw me over. If he confrogates my scoos, hopefully he doesn't see the lethal line. I just have to defend on my opponent being bad, but he's, if he just he has, he has lethal here. Yep. Wah, wah. That game was close though. Ugh. So two surgicals, grab triggers, cage, and spell bombs. Good. Bring the two wraths, kitchen things I like. Um. All the planeswalkers are pretty bad, and I don't like the trophies. Uh, the reason why I cut trophies in this matchup is because it just turns on their my opponent's blood gas, and you're trying to trophy like amalgams and stuff. Just isn't good. Um, one more cut could be a collective brutality or a dark confidant. Um, collective brutality just doesn't have enough game here. Anybody just leaving the last soap to? To deal with the last little one ones, <clears throat> I, I think that game would have been an easy win on the play. On the draw, it was a lot harder. That tree corn man. Uh, gonna mold a hate here. I guess scavenging use counts as hate. That's a good one. Good one, boys. I just hope my opponent doesn't have the nuts. Gosh, I wish I had an untapped black source. That would have been nice. Here I'm gonna play the scoos. <laughs> Gotta get the active scoos online faster. Uh, we're suffering the same symptom as game one where we aren't having a green source. We're, we only have one green source, which is pretty bad. Um, 
He didn't mill himself? I wonder if he's stuck on lands. If he's stuck on lands, that'd be good for us. Did we just forget? Why would he not activate shoot corn? Huh. Interesting. Just wants a treasure in the yard? That's kind of weird, though. He played a thug and didn't block. Because he knows I have the scoos. Is his hand that bad? I think I wait, right? Wait until my opponent passes priority on upkeep. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until my opponent passes priority on upkeep. See if he just milled himself again, which is weird. I don't know why he did that. It's weird. Stack more salvage. I think I'll let him have the salvage, it's fine. I'm not gonna surgical that away. Sounds good to me. I just need green sources. Like, where are my green sources? <coughs> Ballsy attack, Cotton. It's a ballsy attack. I have search go up the ready. If my opponent has some sort of weird shenanigans going on. That's gross. I think I'm at the point in the game where, gosh, I am not drawing lands here. Yep, that's fine. I think here I can actually just search with a loam. That's an option. Oh man, this sucks. Kind of 
kind of want a surgical the amalgams, but I think I need a surgical loam here. I just play Bob and then not attack. So he doesn't have a dredge four, he only has a dredge two in the yard. Maybe I should have surgical first. That, just bad sequencing. <laughs> he has chill. <laughs> Double chill in Archimedes. <laughs> God damn. Four loams, got it. What do you have in the yard? Ancient Grudge, Conflagrate Imp. It's nothing weird. Just need land drops here. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna attack because that extra two dredgers just could be pretty gross. My opponent's probably just gonna hard cast creeping chills. Oh. not drawing probably now I'm just now my opponent's just gonna clutter the board here and then now my opponent can just creep and chill a bunch oh you hard cast narc me that's cute okay finally drew a land which is good um, so my opponent has double chill in hand, no dredges in yard. <coughs> the good thing is... I don't want to trade my tireless tracker just one for one, so I might just play the last hope here. Try to stabilize the board and my life total. Let's ping off one of these narc amoebas. We're still close here. Like we're 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 pretty close to stabilizing. This Kalidas should help. Like going next turn, Kalidas, Liliana, Last Hope. Oh, so good. Like, it might even be worth, like, throwing my bob under the bus. What do you think of a... Oh, sorry, I just saw your message, Crafty Zebra. What do you think of a one of Anafenza, the foremost in Advent Traverse? I am not a fan of Anafenza. Uh, I think she's too slow. Doesn't hit the impact the battlefield enough. Um, like, wh like, what are you trying to hit... With Anafansa, is it Dredge? Because if it's Dredge, I'd rather have a third Scavenging Ooze. Because typically you're on two, right? I'd rather just run a third Scavenging Ooze. Um, scavenging Ooze has a lot more utility in other matchups, like Snapcaster Mage decks and stuff like that. Um, So, thug, me, so I could, I could save my Liliana here if I really wanted to, throw my Bob under the bus, I think that's a good line, I don't know what's in my opponent's hand, but I don't mind. Oh, this Amalgam's attacking me? Me. Liliana. Uh, Liliana's 
So these for Liliana. Liliana. So, wow, that's a bad attack. <laughs> so, okay, so this is me, Liliana, Liliana, me, Liliana. So Liliana, Liliana, oh, me, Liliana. God, I hate MTGO. Why can't it? This should make it a lot easier. So, Liliana. Okay. I'm going to protect my Liliana. So, Liliana is going to go down to one. I'm going to take four. Right? Which is fine. Right? So, one. I'm gonna take one. I was gonna take two, three. So I'm gonna take four. So I'm gonna take three. Uh, Luna's gonna take three. I'm gonna take four. I'm going on eleven. That seems fine. Oh, but he does have creeping chill. Hmm. Creeping chill does change things. I might just. chump block here and then just take one damage right so Liliana is down to one and then I just take one I think I like that line better I don't want to get chilled out with Bob yeah I like I think I like that better <coughs> For sure, just seems Affinity and Dredge is popular now. Uh, I don't really like her against Affinity either. Like, sure, it shuts off Ravager. But if you're playing Abzan, you already have other tools that can beat that deck, like Stony Science. I'm trying to figure out if I should just play Cletus here, or... So he has Narc Amoeba on top of the deck. So he can Conflagrate for three? I think I just need to get Cletus on board. <coughs> and then just not block with it. Oh god, he's gonna bring back two Moglems? That's gross. By goodness gracious. <coughs> So I, he has one unknown card in hand. So let me see. Gain five, sixteen. Fifteen block block four six seven. Six 
seven and eight. I don't, I can't block with the Cletus because he has the Conflagrates in hand. Let's see if he makes a bad block. So I want to gain as much life as I possibly can. So 14, ambush. Yeah. I'm gonna actually play Tyler Shriver here. I'm gonna change my line a little bit midway through. Oh man, another chill in hand too, that's gross. Thing is, if he hard casts Stingray, that gets pretty bad too. The language should be really good right now. This is ended up being a pretty good game. <laughs> Summon a virtual eight. <clears throat> Do you have a link to your traverse list? Uh, it's probably on. Oh, that's good. Why did he play that pre combat? God bless your soul, dude. <laughs> God bless your soul. Fuck me. Ooh. Um, if you like Google my <clears throat> username, KO Diamonds, um, It'll and and like go look through MTG Goldfish. It's it's it it should pop up. Oh, that was a good drop. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah. That was a good cue. Tyler Shark and making a clue. So he has a stupid imp in the yard. Okay, is this worth just doing it now? I don't want to give him access to another stinkwit imp. Crack a clue here. Big boy, daddy, Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> Just play Tarmogoyf here. Just pass the turn. So the clock is also against us, so we're going to have to be a little more mindful of it. So he has no loams, he went through two Confrogates account. I 
I, I popped this. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have uh, popped the spell bomb, but I think I needed to get rid of that sneak with him. Excuse me, so... Ah. Okay. Interesting. So, thug. It was not a, th a free attack. I don't think it was. Who, who would I attack with? <coughs> wow. That was aggressive. That was an aggressive use of an ancient grudge. I think you start attacking in here. So five, make sure I have enough blockers. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. I think I'm gonna attack in with one Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> That's true. That's true. I think I missed that. You're right. You are correct, Jason. Thanks for pointing that out for me, buddy. Have we gone through all the chills? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about peeping show anymore. Man, those Narc Amiibo beats. Let's crack a clue here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is a good attack here.
Oh man, that's not a lot of time. Gotta play it up a little faster here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to talk a lot less now because I need to focus a little bit. Three minutes, not good. This happens when I stream and play. <laughs> like, I'm gonna talk a lot less this game theory so I can hurry up here. <coughs> Alright, fast game theory. Good hand. It's a good hand. It's a little slow though. But it's a good hand. I wish I had an untapped green source. Okay, that makes me feel better on myself. I'm gonna play a hissing quagmire first because I have a surgical. I feel like my opponent has like a cathartic green or something. Loot loan. Gotta play faster here. We have, a good, we have a good chance of winning this game. Time is... We're favorite against Dredge right now. Unfavorite against Time. That makes sense. Did you just draw Lightning Axe? That sucks. Oh, that blows. <clears throat> oh, damn. I should have played the Spell Bomb, maybe? Gosh darn it. Oh no. No. Maybe I should play the spell bomb. I just crack it here for no value, which sucks. Uh, 
Maybe I should have waited to spell bomb and Maelstrom Pulse. I don't know, but I just need to play. F I just trying to get this game over with. Oh yeah, Loman Hand. I'm just the, the clock is what's screwing me over here. <coughs> So I'm just going to try to end the game. Hope my opponent misses on treasures. Maybe it would have been correct just to wait on the spell bomb. I don't know. God damn, that's a lot of blood gas. And prize and albums. Gosh darn it. This is what happens when you stream and play, is like your percentages winning gets a lot lower. Like, oh man. I'm just gonna get aggressive here. Hope my opponent misplays. <coughs> Two, five, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. Okay, I have a minute, so I can actually think about this because I could kill on the crackback. Nine. I think I just block one. He could hard, if he hard cast creeping chill, that'd be bad. If he plays like a thug, that'd be bad. Uh, no blocks. Or he goes conflagrate, conflagrate. So five, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. I think I have the block here. <coughs> and that way I can fatal push something at the end of turn. It's like a stink widow or something. Oh, wow. Am I winning this game?
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what I came. <laughs> oh my god. That was match one. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man. I, I gotta go over to the bathroom after that, man. I'll be right back. <laughs> That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I, dude, I don't even know. <laughs> oh Jesus. Six viewers, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Crafty Zebra, thanks for following. Sorry, he's gonna get to sh do the little shout out. Um, oh man. That was close <laughs> to say the least oh jesus oh man <clears throat> we have six viewers guys thanks for thanks for tuning in hope you guys are enjoying this rock stream this hand is absolutely awful on a mulligan this hand's okay brutality is okay to top deck oh and draw Man, that was, that was insane. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Uh, Valakit, no. This is the wrong Liliana, no. If this was Veil vale Liliana, I would say it might have had a shot. But, you know, I've actually, uh, haven't played against Valakut on Rock yet, ever since the Traffic Assassin Trophy got printed. Um, I'm gonna actually play Tarmogoyf here. And then next turn, maybe Brutality Escalate? Oh, Jesus, why? What? Oh, okay. I guess that works, too. So I guess if he has Primeval Titan, I'm dead anyway. I'm gonna play Bob here. It doesn't get shunned by the Relic. Man, is that how it's going to go? Uh, I guess we'll just duress, scape shift. 
Primeval Titan. That's GG. That's GG. Unless I, I don't see how I'm winning this game. Unless I tr draw Assassin's Trophy. Even then. Oh god, he double Valakut. I'm just, yeah, that's game. That's jeez. Talk about the rubbits. That was talk about like a long match game one, and then game two is just like, well, um, so sideboarding. I don't really have much against scape shift. Uh, the only sideboard card that would really be good against it is Fulminator Mage. I think that's the blind spot of my sideboard is the lack of Fulminator Mages. Uh, but I think Fulminator Mages, you kind of want three, but I don't see any room for it. Um, I mean, maybe you can have it over Grafdigger's Cage, and then, like, maybe the Duress. Uh, if you're expecting a lot of Valakut, but I don't know. I don't think. Uh, Fatal Plus is trash. Rub Decay is trash. Last Tilt doesn't do anything. That's a pretty clean... Clean swap here. Yeah. Checks out. Checks out. Checks out. I like Brooding and Nissa in matchups like these because she just is a really fast clock and why. Sure. Thoughts these into two drop into. Tireless Tracker. My God. That's actually a really bad hand. Take a scape shift there because. Uh, I took the primeval time there because uh, I could grow up to 18 life. I can go over 18 life with the scavenging moves, and uh, I don't want to take the redundant piece, right? So it doesn't make sense to do that. Uh, this card's good if I want to surgical the scape shift. I'm just gonna add more to the clock. If my opponent top decks any of the gods, then he top decks any of the gods. Like, what am I gonna do? That's fine. <clears throat> I don't think I want to. 13, uh, 1, 2, I actually have lethal if, if I draw a, another land next turn. Oh, I misplayed there. I should have done this first. That's a, that's a, that's a point of life. I, I I lost there. It shouldn't matter. I have lethal here. Oh, that that sealed it up. Attack first, I guess.
8, 11. I'm going to do this line so I can see what is in my opponent's hand. Okay, got it. Okay. On the draw is a lot harder, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, <coughs> maybe Nissas aren't that great. Maybe I do want the case. Like a decay and like a. Kitchen Finks, maybe just have one decay in there. Seems fine to me. Pretty good on a mobile six, I'll take that. I'll take that. Don't care about the relic actually. I'm just gonna take the scape shift. Oh, uh, the Austin Bale sucks though. <clears throat> Next time I just play Bob. It's fine with me. So one unknown. Gotta hate Relic on MDGO. It's so annoying. Hopefully, you just cast Bail off. Just looking for a ramp, I guess. I could play a little honor and just pass. Seems wrong though. Just playing scavenging you doesn't do much. I guess, no, I guess scavenging was just the right call here. <coughs> Find me with Titan. Oh man, two triggers, that's gross. So not just every card is a bolt. Jesus. Oh. 
Oh, man. That surgical was a little late there. Take nine. Good God. <clears throat> I'm just gonna concede here, just to save some time. I'm not gonna win this game. Gosh, that was brutal. That deck is so consistent. It's gross. I, like I yeah I def that's definitely a hole in my cyber like if Valakar starts getting more popular I can definitely see having a full mana mage maybe we're like the kitchen finks or something yeah I could probably just do that have a kitchen finks over a or a full mana mage over a kitchen finks man I am on the draw every game every game maybe it's the mirror or something. Breeding pool. This, in fact, smell infect here. Ding 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 ding. So take the elf. Just take the infector. <clears throat> Bob is real obviously really good in this matchup. <laughs> yep, that's fine with me. Push the hierarchy here. See if he wants to redirect it. See a dodge, an infector draw here. Blossoming the fence. So I just take the. So I just need to dodge an infector draw here, and I'm square. And dodge a spell pierce if they run it. <coughs> infect, huh? Um, sweepers, brutality's good, dresses are pretty good. This is actually a good matchup, for, like, obviously, like, it's a good matchup for us. Um, I think I cut the scavenging ooze, yeah, it kind of turns off their, um, uh, their, their become immense, but I don't, it's, it's a little too slow, like, it's not going to cut off their become immense. If you're spending all your mana, exile the giver, you're probably winning anyway, because you stabilized. Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Cut this goose. Maybe cut the, cut the fleetus. Like, it's kind of the equivalent of Siege Rhino. I just cut Siege Rhino versus Infect doesn't do anything. And maybe cut a Tracker. I don't know how good Duress is actually in this matchup. Because you want to take the Infectors with your discard spells, not um, your discard spells. Or you want to take the Infectors with your discard spells, not their pumps. 
Um, yeah, let's just roll with it. <clears throat> I don't think I like Spear in this matchup because you also want to interact at instant speed as well. So. That's a good draw. Spell Pierce. That's fine. Protects my uh, Liliana. <coughs> oh, I see. Ink Moth Nexus, huh? Double Blossoming Defense. That's scary. Guess I'll just take the one of Hexproofer. Oh, actually, I should take the. Uh, ooh, I'm, what's my chances of me dying here? Uh, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, I can't. What are the chances of me dying? Because I kind of want to save this fatal push here. No, I think. If I go, he's gonna act, animate, attack. He's gonna blossoming defense. Try to make use, best use of my mana here. He could go animate, become immense. That's seven. Actually, not a lot. I think I'm going to four, five. I'm going to take a huge infect hit, hit here, but I'm going to uh, be able to feel the ruin of uh, Inkbox Nexus. This way, it kind of frees up my mana here, too. <clears throat> Him drawing nothing is good for us, obviously. Um... Do I play Liliana here and plus? I think I do. I want to start attacking the hand. So two unknown. Maybe I was supposed to hold the land there too.
My clock doesn't change, right? I guess it kind of does. Well, we got five is fine. Yep. F6 did your friend. <laughs> I I got burned way too many times F sixing honestly that I don't F six anymore. I refuse to F six unless time is that much of a concern for real, because like there's so many times where it's like oh, I actually wanted to interact there and it's like not, and even it's like on my play like it's just a bad habit in my opinion. Storm, hey? I, I'm on the fucking draw every goddamn game. Where is any energy tonight? He he's he's playing some stupid devoted company list because he doesn't know what deck to play and he's like bitching about what deck to play. <laughs> he's 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 a lost soul, dude. <laughs> That's all I can say. <coughs> He's a lost soul. He a mess. <laughs> he is definitely a mess. Guess we'll start interacting here. I'm kind of tempted to just take the interactive spells. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to just take the interactive spells. That way my Liliana can go ham on this game. <clears throat> Oh, maybe she'll have grape shot. I'm an idiot. Why'd I do that? God, I'm so bad at this game. Shit, why did I take grape shot? I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I think I still start attacking his hand here. God, I'm gonna lose this game because of that. Gosh darn it. Double pass in flames. Right on.
Oh, why am I so bad at this game? I don't think there's a possible way for him to... Let's crack a clue here. I think man is the most important. I think I'm going to ultimate here. Because I want to cut him off all mana. So if he top decks like a gift send given or something. Doesn't really matter. back scavenging it is here a fetch land is an out here or a, a seals of the deal here all right feel the ruins fine too <coughs> that I did not get punished that was extremely lucky of me Jesus Christ um okay so uh, yard hates good. Discard spells are always good. Graph Digger's Cade Spell Bomb. More discard damping sphere. It's like our cyborg is built to beat Storm. <laughs> um, uh, Last Hope is pretty trash. I don't like Assassin's Trophies. Um, I like cutting. A couple fatal push it's hard to tell uh, if they cut all their mana dorks are not their mana dorks whatever they're the cost reducers um, so I keep in two just in case um, and then from here I can see cutting like a veil or a tracker <coughs> I like Kalidus because it deals with Empty of the Warren Stones. Like, if my opponent empties, I can play Kalidus and kind of just gain a bunch of life and kind of stabilize the board there. Um, I, that's also why I bring in Languish to kill all the Empty of the Warrens tokens. Um, thing is, do I want to cut a Veil? Or a Tracker? I think I just cut a tracker here. Get aggressive with the Liliana of the Veils. Um, I can see that. A good hand. <coughs> I can see that if you, on the draw for sure. Definitely can see it.
Hmm. I just played Damping Spear, right? Like. I didn't see any fetch lands, so I don't think my opponent's playing Blood Moon. <clears throat> I can see just cracking this, get a swamp. And then just getting damage first, so I can play around Blood Moon pretty well. Don't think my opponent's on Blood Moon. Let's just play the Damping Spear. Scavenging was a good draw. Very good draw. That was very fortunate of us. A lot of interaction. Okay. A lot of interaction. <coughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I guess just play scavenging news again. The Deppy Sphere is kind of screwing us up, too. <clears throat> Bottom. It's probably digging for a braid. Kind of leaning hard on these on this stamping spear for sure. What's he doing here? Interesting. Start exiling the mana morphoses. Took the empty.
Sorry. I, when did you message me that, Jason? I, sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the chat. Sorry. Uh, when at what point do you recommend that line? Uh, six eight, six eight. I def so I need to play the Tarmogoy to increase my clock here. <coughs> One top, one bottom. That's scary. Uh, I want to draw cards off Bob. I, I, I need like. I need to like have more action. Okay, that's fine. I I don't like dropping Lily. I I because I think I had to tap out for that, right? If I had to drop Lily. I don't think I had six mana at that turn. Um, I actually think I know that guy. I think he, uh, Cyrus. I think that guy is a known storm player in the Bay Area. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm from the Bay Area, and I think he plays Legacy Storm. Uh, I think he he won the Eternal Weekend, uh, event I believe so. Yeah, I I think I have to, I I think I have to go back and watch exactly when you want me to do it. Um, I I really wanted Bob to draw more into discard spells because like I'm I from my experience playing Storm against Storm. Um, God, I have been on the draw every game this game. Uh, this tonight. Um, I've noticed against Storm, playing against Liliana or. Aggressively going against Liliana is not uh, a game-winning plan because their hand is so redundant. You know what I mean? Uh, try it, Arbor. This scavenging use is going to be pretty good against the Eternal Witness. I really wish I had a Fatal Push, though. That would have been great. Just Stone Rain them. Take the discussion for the scavenging you just takes over the game there. Ouch. I guess scavenging ooze, uh, God, this again, this hand would have been a lot better. Oh, I guess I wouldn't have the discard spell. Kind of forces him to play the Eternal Witness to bring back the Squatch Recruiter. Is that Green Valley Value Town? Or is this like combo? It has to be the combo. Dust Squatch Recruiter? Duh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna play the field of ruin here. So then the next turn I can tie the tracker and either hold up overgrown tomb. Or we just play basic swamp. I just play basic swamp, pass the turn. I think I'm gonna do that. Do I, do I care if he brings back the land, though? I don't think so. Should we just play Tireless Tracker? 
to make the most use of my mana. For him to do this line, he had to have another white source for him to fetch basic forest. So I'm gonna just play Tireless Shocker. And if he brings back Lynch Up Teeth, he brings back Lynch Up Teeth. That's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Just melt some pulse the eternal witnesses and then just go to town. Hold up fatal push. that value a lot of rock players have cut millstone pulse and i don't know why millstone pulse is so good like them like i cut millstone pulse because of assassin trophy and then i just realized how much value i get from assassin trophy it's so gross four mana Ooh, walking ballist zone two okay Okay. I agree. And it's it's a main deck card too. Like I, I don't like how people um have it in the sideboard. I I, I don't get it. <coughs> Uh, the reason why I exactly turned away and not walking list is because of Tarmogoyf, and I exactly drew Tarmogoyf, so that was lucky on my part. And I'm just going to play the Tarmogoyf here. Play the Field of Ruin. Pass a turn. Thanks, you just screwed my Tarmogoyf. Okay. Uh, if he Coco's into Eternal Witness, this line punishes me. go discard Liliana and Fatal Push. <coughs> I mean he obviously has collected company in hand. Cord. Guess I just take cord. Because I don't care about Dust Squatch Recruiter. None of these guys have flash, right? We just go for lethal here. Or oh, he has Kitchen Finks. He has Kitchen Finks. That's gross. I 
can just take the cord. Because I don't care about any of these other cards. You can only cord for two. What could he core for two? That's. I, don't, I think I just win, right? There's nothing he can core for two for. Or how big is my Tarmogoy? Four or five. Land, creature, sorcery, instant. Artifact, five. So I'm. Yeah, I don't win the game here. So I shouldn't push the Dryad Arbor here yet. So I should take the Cord. Voice would be another good one, yeah. So I think I'm just going to attack here. I could also just um, feel the ruin the Dryad Arbor here. But I... I think that's a little aggressive. <laughs> that's also fine. Because then I can just Liliana now. I, mean, I had a very, this is a very conservative line here that I took. <coughs> is this Ree's list? No. This is the list that I 5 0 with last week and yesterday. Oh, you'll see right here. <laughs> this is my 75. Uh, Reed's list has a one of Grim Flare, 23 lands, four bobs, uh, no Kalidus. Uh, he only has two trackers, which I think is absolutely wrong. Uh, I think you want at least three. Uh, Graph Digger's Cage, Collective Brutality, Kitchen Finks, and Wraths. I, I, I could have killed the dork. But I didn't want to leave myself naked to a voice of returns because I don't win the game there. Uh, I'd rather just hold my removal because I'm totally winning the game there. Like, my, my opponent's so behind. Um, uh, in this matchup, it gets kind of grindy, so I cut the discard spells. I, I like to keep the Thought Seizes to interact with, like, Collected Company. Uh, like I said earlier in the stream, the more Collected Companies my opponents cast, the more likely I am to lose the game. Um, uh, I was talking to actually Andrew, who plays this devoted deck, and he says that the new version with like um whatever that black card that like it's like that mini Goro's Vengeance kind of, but it it, it returns a creature card from your graveyard and gives it haste. Uh, I don't know if it's this version, but it's a lot more glass candy, and it kind of leans on the Shalai. Um, and then if that's the case, I kind of like these assassin trophies. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, other than that, I don't like Veils in this matchup with all the mana dorks. Um, I think this is fine. Oh man, come on. Oh, this is a black source. I would have kept this hand. How greedy do I want to be? This ends up being a grindy match. I'm going to keep this. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Uh, if I get another, 
need a black source off the top still. And then I can kind of run away this game with this veil. Post-mortem lunch. Thank you, John. Wow, that card is really good. Fuck. Oh, fuck am I going to beat that card? God damn it. Guess kill the dork here. Man, Mirror and Crusader, huh? Talk about a card that just bends rock over, dude. Jesus Christ. If only this was a lot of veil. I ain't gonna die to this Mirror Crusader for sure. I'm gonna take the most use of my mana and pulse the squash recruiter. So I have damnation as my outs and languish. But I still and it sucks because I have a tap treetop village here. <laughs> Excuse me, so my mana's been super awkward this game. Six. I need languish or damnation right now. Man, do I need to keep my discard spells in for Mirror Crusader then? Shit. Because that's gross. Okay, Languish, Damnation, Languish, Damnation. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, man. So the Veils are coming in. <laughs> God damn. God damn, that's a brutal, brutal, brutal. Uh, that makes me want to cut maybe a trophy here. Let me cut the finks. Just go like this. Man, that Mirren Crusader. Jesus. I need more answers to Mirren Crusader. Jesus Christ. Hey viewers, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys can channel your energy and hopefully we can win this match and go 4 1, solid start to our league. This is a great hand. Ah, and this, uh, you're right. You're right. I mean, this matchup also does get grandy too, so I can see it. Don't path me, bro. Don't path me, bro. <clears throat> Please let me on top of this, Bob. I guess he would have pathed me at end of turn just to. So I'm assuming he doesn't have a path. Uh, 
that is not exactly what the doctor ordered here. Could die here. I think I have to bluff the fatal push. Oh, it's not really much of a bluff. I would have fatal pushed it now, right? Oh god, am I dead? Oh, come on. Maybe I shouldn't have kept in trophy? Oh, he has infinite mana. Darn. So I... Oh, I need a damnation then. Oh, this sucks. If this was a damnation, I would have been okay. Oh my gosh. Because I'm not dead. Gosh, darn it. I needed my bow to draw me some interaction there. It just didn't work. I need a damnation off the top. That's the only way I'm winning this game. Vraska. Interesting. God, what else does he have in his hand? Jesus. I'm not dead. I have two draws for a damnation. Come on, Bobby. Good game. Oh well, end of the league 3 2. Just didn't draw my Jillian removal spells. But what are you gonna do? <coughs> um, maybe I might want a Fulminator Mage. Maybe we're with the Kitchen Finks. And maybe the Duress. Just so I'm not naked to Valakut. I don't know. But, oh well, alrighty. And the link here too, but hope you guys enjoyed the content. Um, I'm going to be trying to be streaming a little bit more rock. I'm going to play rock at my local 2K next week. So hopefully I do well there. And then we'll see. A month is a long time for now, but I'll probably play this at Portland. So thanks for guys tuning in. Um, if you guys like what you see, please follow my Twitch and follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is a little different than my actual username. It's KO Diamonds 22. Because uh, someone took KO Diamonds and they have like one follower or whatever. It's so tilting. I wonder if I can just take that from them. Because that's stupid. Uh, but yeah, follow me on Twitter for, for to get a little bit more of an accurate update on when I'll stream next. But this was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Please follow me, I guess, again on Twitter and Twitch and on YouTube once it gets posted. But yeah, thanks again for everyone who contributed to the chat. It was really fun chatting with you guys and talking through the lines. But another 3 2 is not bad. I'll take it. Uh, so to recap, we beat. Uh, we lost. We beat Dredge, lost to Valakut, uh, beat Storm. Beat, oh god, what do you play here? Uh, all right, in fact, that was, that was, yeah, that was garbage. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we beat, uh, yep. 
<coughs> yeah, so beat Dredge, lost to Valkut, beat Infect, beat Storm, lost to Dibido Coco. But thanks guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good one. Hope to guys to see you guys next week. Take it easy guys. See ya.